it's been six years now since he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame on the first ballot. My old buddy from uh, NFL Game Day Morning back in the day, and now the host of his own podcast. You know what? We used to joke with Warren you. Sack. Rich, you got a podcast. Oh, my gosh. The number hey, of times. Rich, Rich, the number of times you personally. Happy New Year. Let me tell you that. So oh, thank you, by the way. Happy New Year, I appreciate happy that. Year, right back brother. to you, yeah, Lashana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to you, too, You know what time it is. Yes, indeed. So, the number of times on live NFL <laughs> Network TV, on NFL Game Day Morning, you would look at me and go, oh, do you have a podcast? You have a podcast? Oh, huh, because, you Rich, know, you, I, you, might, you, you might know. Um, there is an I in Rich and Eisen. There's three I's in Michael Irvin. But so I had to do something to self promote. Uh, listen, okay, right. But there's so, no better podcast because I've been here since day one. Yes, and then when they put you on TV, I'm like, Shh, come on, it's nothing to watch my guy do what he does. Right. There's no better host. There's no better. Oh man, f- sports guy for me. I mean, I grew up to you and Stuart Scott on the TV with the booyah and the different stuff that y'all did late at night. I mean, that that's, that was that, that's wow. me growing up into the NFL with you. So yeah. when I got a chance to work with you. It was just sick. you know what you and I have never <laughs> talked about Stuart. He, I had him since Orlando when I was in high school. That's right. Yeah, he covered he, me in high school. Yeah, he did. He did his. Yeah, local, he was in Orlando. He did local in Orlando. He was in Orlando at my high school. He was at Roger Williams Field covering me since I was in high school. So I growed up to you and him. Trust me. Uh, that that's that's me. I never had cable television until I got to the University of Miami. I found air conditioning and ESPN, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I was never going back. <laughs> And they say that uh, college players don't have any perks. What do you think of that news that's coming out here to the state of California that uh, you know that, that, the, that you can make money off your name, likeness, and image? Is California has out? always been at the cutting edge. Right. Always been, like Ray Charles says, well, Negro could spread his wings and fly. So it's, California's always been that place, the land of milk and honey. Mm-hmm. I mean, why wouldn't you allow these kids? Ed O'Bannon sued them back in the day for their likeness on the video game. Correct. Yeah, and one that started that, everything. That's what started way. everything. Yeah. So right. it's always been California that said the cutting edge because why should Nick Saban make seven million dollars and the kid that tears his knee? I got one for you. Yep. On a Saturday afternoon, everyone in a college football stadium, if they get hurt, will get workman's comp except the players. You know what? It's it's uh, if I, you trip in the stands, right, in a stadium, they will take care of you. The kid that blows his knee out is done, because he, he gets a scholarship. Because he gets a, so that they so who does take care of them like the knee surgery and stuff like that? The doctor for the team and whatever. no, I know that, but who pays for that? This the university. The school okay. Yeah, they, okay, they, they, they do take that. care of that part of right. it. But then when you have lasting injuries from this knee, right. When you're no longer in school, who takes care of you then? You know, I, I, here's <laughs> what I think of sometimes. You know, uh, it was I forget what year it was. It, it, Texas Michigan um, Rose Bowl, oh six. I th- it was right around that. 05, 06? Vince Vince Young had already been left. The, he, no, he was there. This was his last. Ah. The year after Vince Young, the, his last game at Texas, I don't believe was, was against USC. Yeah, was against Michigan? he took, a, took, took care of Michigan in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> and the reason why I bring this up is because Susie and I got a call from Braylon Edwards, ah. who we knew, mm-hmm. and said, "Hey, you know, it's it was Christmas Day, the hotel." Room service was not really working. You had Chinese food, so. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nate Nows, delicatessen, actually, like is where this you, is going. The reason why he says, he said, so Susie's like, we got to go, let's let's get him lunch at yeah. the very least. Uh-huh. So we picked him up, and Mike Hart came over to our house, and we fed, fed them deli. But on the way to pick him up from the hotel to go to our house, there was a player for the University of Texas uh-huh. that was walking on Santa Monica Boulevard to walk to the McDonald's to, to get eat. food. It was the late Cedric Benson. Oh, my goodness. That, that Braylon goes, and we're like, that's the star player in the Rose Bowl walking on Santa Monica Boulevard where there were no sidewalks <laughs> to go get McDonald's <laughs> because and and – and pay for it himself. He ate all day. And this is the whole thing, too. Is, and, but if said Benson had the ability to do something for an Austin car dealership or something, how about this, though? <laughs> Let me ask you this, Warren Sapp. What if, though, you were there if these rules took place down in Florida and Miami? Ooh. What are, are you, how would that have, however, changed the scope of things for you? And, I don't and, know, and, because, you know, we grew up in a time when it wasn't no Internet, it wasn't no social media, it wasn't an army that you can carry behind you that – more people read your tweets or your Instagram post and watch the news or read the newspaper. You know what I'm saying? I, that's the kind of thing that we've built now. So 
with building that, we have to spread it down to the kids because we used to call it issue gear we used to wear at Miami, the grays and the little, sh- right. <laughs> the little shirts. I mean, we had no money to go buy a polo at Dayland Mall. No way. No way. But would it have been? Would it have made it things even more uncompetitive in tilting to the U because of I don't the know, ability that you could never, have gotten a hundred? We never had one of those bucks. big facilities. That's why all the kids don't come to the U now. We just got the indoor facility. We just got there. We went to Miami about championships. Mm-hmm. It wasn't about a social media following. It wasn't about nothing. We knew we'd play in national championship games, and we had a chance to go twelve and zero. That's what it was about at Miami. So it's 2005 Rose Bowl? Yeah, was kind of, that was the game that put Vince Young kind of on the map. And then Vince the next year took care of you, yeah. USC. That is. Uh, that's my memory right there. Warren you. Sapp here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk about your 99 Problems podcast <laughs> where all podcasts are sold. You made some news, sir, by having Drew Rosenhaus on your program and him saying that people are still interested in Antonio Brown despite everything that's been going on here. What can you... Have you ever met a more... Non-optimistic agent in Rosenhaus. What do you mean? He gets the job done. So he feels like at any point when he gets on the phone with mm-hmm. a team that there's an opportunity for his client. That's how that's how that's how he always thinks. But some of the criticism. Listen, I used to call Rosenhaus at three in the morning. I bet you did. Just, no, just as a joke because he'd always say he never slept. You know his book Shark Never Sleeps. Right. Sure. So I used to call him at three in the morning. He'd be like Rosenhaus. I'd be like, Are you sleep? He'd be like, No. I'm like, okay, and hang up. I mean, it was just sick. I mean, but that's the kind of work ethic that he had. I mean, I had a dude one time talking about agents one time, and mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, You pay your agent three percent, right? He's like, Yeah. I'm like, I bet you can't call him right now. He's like, what? I'm like, call your agent right now that you pay him 3%. I'll call mine. He'll answer bright-eyed and bushy tail. You know, it was almost like a joke for me to do this right. with Drew. But that's how he works, and that's what he believes well, in. Well, I mean, the fact that that Brown did what he did in Oakland and, and was seen celebrating in the backyard, <laughs> and then the fact that he got a He's job. Sick. Say that again? He's sick. Antonio Brown. He's sick. The, the, the social media has grabbed this young man. And it's feeding him because more people watch his Twitter and this except you anymore. I'm sorry. He's just <laughs> yeah. Larry Allen for you. You know, it's called block when I tell you. Yeah, but, I'm Larry but Allen. This, but this yes, young man has got, 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 gotten a, a drug and it's, it's the social media because I never thought a player would pick a phone up in a locker room and record because there's a bunch of naked men in this locker room. That's the last thing you want to be doing. I mean, that's the first thing you think about is somebody else's privacy in the locker room. Mm-hmm. And the last thing you're going to do is beam this out to the world. Live on Facebook. Hey, like I'm telling you, when somebody can record it and now save it and preserve it and then it lasts forever. You don't do that to your players around you. And when he did that, I'm like, there's something wrong. And now he goes over to Oakland running out the backyard. I don't think nobody's giving back that that leash that you just signed. <laughs> They're going to still require you to pay for that house that you signed at least to for six months because you signed up. So well, unless, he walks, unless he walks out on that. And I mean, that, oh, that, that's no. part now of what you, got, you... Now you got a lawsuit. Well, and, and that's part of what, you know, Robert Klemko was reporting in Sports Illustrated Uh-oh. that led to the second oh. lady that comes out and said that he... Um, he yeah. Let's yeah. just say this. He yeah. failed to pay her for painting and then yeah. uh, accused him of some other unsavory yeah. behavior. Mm-hmm. The texts that he then sent out. Oh, that is the that, that is included. The, that's, her. that's when this one. I know you were sick now. So what? So I ask you this. So, so what can be done? It is I don't want you Gone. to speak. Huh? Gone. You just wiped the cliche clean because it's it's all about him. And in the National Football League, it's never about one person. Mm-hmm. It's never about one person on a team. So it's definitely not about Antonio Brown in the National Football League in our 100 year. Goodbye. No, I know that, but what? But what about the human being? And again, I know Listen, I've been blocked. That's but I've on been ta- him. That's on him. Isn't it about because others around him? The one to thing, tell him I, the one thing, me and Dion and all of us from Florida say, Florida yes. boys, we walk around with a chip on our shoulder. Yes. But we know where the line is. Do you don't not to cross? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's crossed that line. He's crossed that line. Went on the run. Now skidding and sliding all the way down. So, do you th- two things here? Do you think he'll play in the NFL again? No. Okay. And two, do you think he will get the help that you think he needs? Do you think I that he's so. got the people around him, so. including your podcast uh, guest, Listen, that would be able to Rosen sit him House down? Listen, Rosenhaus is the here. employee here. AB is the CEO. At the end of the year, he writes a check to Rosenhaus. Rosenhaus can't tell him what to do, just like he couldn't tell me what to do. But I knew the line which not to cross. And for AB, that line has gotten blurred. And some people around him, whoever this is, somebody need to grab the young man. And sit him down and say, son, this ain't the way to go about this. You could have made $100 million in the next five years. Easily. 
You had a first ballot Hall of Fame career running at it for the last seven years. What the hell are you doing? You don't want to go to walkthrough? When I walk the walkthrough, Rich, if, if Marinelli's sitting there, I'd be like, James Cannon need a little work today. <laughs> I'm not going to walk through today, but I'm going to practice. Right. But I'm not going to walk through. I'm going to walk out on the field just like everybody else with my Gatorade in hand, have my sip. Canada, get in there. That's what the backup is for. When you're not feeling right, you take walk through. I got practice. Let's go. Warren Sapp here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, is D. Brooks going to hear the perfect case? You know what? Not? I didn't call him, but it's I will. Okay. I'll give you word afterwards. No, but it's I, all right. I got to check with the Doom because the Doom is one of the most fast guys I know. But when you have a record, it's kind of tough. So do you think it's a fair suspension from the NFL to say get out for the rest of the year? Devontae's perfect. <sighs> Warren Sapp. I think he's had more than... Three, Thir- right? Thirteen suspensions. Oh. <laughs> Two for illegal hits. Um, I think I think that y- your resume fits. Your resume fits, and for some reason, us talking to you and finding you really doesn't do it. So we're gonna take the game you love away from you. Maybe that will make some reaction. What about like Antonio Brown? Sure. We're gonna take the game away from you and see how your reaction is. What is the reaction by other players? Like, let's just say where 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 uh, one of your teammates was hit dirty. And there's a player that's out there that has this reputation, has this resume. And a lot of folks are saying that the NFL PA should be the one to come out and say, let's let's sit him down for the year, too. No, don't leave it up to the NFL. What do you say to that, Warren? That players no, because should... the PA gets paid to be on the player's side. So he's like the crazy agent that thinks he's going to get him back in the league. He has to be, he has to be that way. But the, on the player, the players maybe. But the players in, be... the, in the in the in the huddle. Yes. Me, Lynch, Brooks, we wouldn't tolerate that on our defense. How so? You're not finna cheap shot nobody. Mm -hmm. This this game is a game of karma. This game is the most humbling game on God's green earth. It will come back at you in a way that you ain't never seen before. We used to call it the dirty game, right back at you. Because, I mean, that's just what happens in football. If you go after somebody, it's coming back. It's definitely coming back. And your teammates might help set you up for it because you're wrong for that, dog. You're just wrong for that. We don't play the game like that. This is not about hurting somebody. This is a great game that's going to be played for a long time. We just got to take care of each other. And Warren, Murphy knows that. Warren Sapp here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And now, uh, so you were with Ray Lewis last night at Dancing <laughs> with the Stars. But I was the, with my Bucks on Sunday, baby. I was about to say, Ooh. your weekend began with the Bucks dropping the double nickel on the Rams. You know, I always Rams. told you 5-5 five, five, and 9-9 nine, nine go well that's together, right. baby. <laughs> and I was on the 50-yard line for the 50-burger. And Mooch and y'all were doing the game. We were rehearsing. I mean, I'm watching y'all at halftime. I'm looking at Jackie Slater, Ron Mix. You know, Mooch not told me, come up to the thing. So I sent him a picture of my pulled pork. You know, I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm not coming to the booth. I've got my pulled got pork. My pulled I'm not pork. leaving. Man, and the Bucks is on fire. It's 28 to 14, and my boys went to work. So who are the Bucks? What we saw this week? Or, or assess to me what the first four games and the Bruce Arians uh, have. I think James in his, learned in his system week here. one after throwing the two pick six because when you look out in the pre snap read and it's Richard Sherman on the running back and the running back's not running a slant, you don't throw it out there. And then you throw a pick six on a on a screen. Mm-hmm. I think Byron Leftwich and Coach finally got to him that hey, come our way, we'll we'll show you. But then we get in the game and our damn kick returner wants to return up. There's no more kick returns in the NFL. Can anybody can anybody get that through their head? Just catch the ball, kneel it down there, giving you five yards, you're on the 25. What is the problem? Mm-hmm. He wants to return the ball on the 10-yard line. We're backed up. Now my quarterback is under duress. He throws a pick. That's when it happens whenever our special teams and everybody don't come together for Jameis. But everything when he's when everything's moving on track, he's a great quarterback. I love what he does, but the Bucs has got to figure out a way to just slow down them on defense. That defense, we we, we look loose. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Rams going up and down the field. If we ain't hot on offense, that game gets away from us. Well, I know. I mean, Daniel Jones uh, was born into the league <laughs> in, in a in a <laughs> spectacular fashion yes, uh, in week three. And then Goff threw for 500 yards. But you do have the right guy coordinating there to fix it, right? In Bowles, would you agree, or would you? Oh yeah, I like okay. Bo- I like Bowles's whole attack mode. When he put the five down lineman on first down, that's a license to kill, Rich, in the National Football League. Everybody gets a one on one. Hey, Sue picked up one ticket to the house. My Bucks are two and two. We right behind the Saints and. Drew Brees ain't coming back for another month, so we all right. Yeah, I know. Well, that's your that's your next game, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about going to New Orleans. I was thinking about going down to New Orleans and get me some broiled crawfish at the Acme and see what's going on. Are you and Sue okay? Because I do remember on occasion on game day morning you would uh, speak your 99 mind. 
uh, about him. I'll tell you this. I've been inside the building. I went to go get my knee drained out. I showed you on the thing. Okay. He reached over me and said, excuse me, and grabbed his helmet. That's the only thing he said to me since we were on Showtime together. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Would you want to have a relationship with him? No, nah, we good. <laughs> <laughs> Come to you know I'm not that guy. It's, it is what it is. Hell, yeah. Warren Sapp here on the Rich Eisen Show. Who do you want on your pod? You've had Gurley, Jonathan Abram, who I – oh, man, you had him oh, week one. I love that kid. Oh I know, what God. a shame. What a shame you he's out for the season. You know this kid told me I was old enough to be his dad, and then I did the math, I am, but <laughs> – <laughs> Right. It's scary with, you know, hard-hitting safety like that. I'd be like, I'm like, boy, we to put you right in the box and lynch – oh, you over the top and lynch in the box. Right. I mean, that's, that's dream days with a kid like that, and he loves the game. Oh, I love that kid. He is great. Oh, I love that I kid. I know. Mayock picked a winner right there. Oh, yeah. He got one there. He and, got one and the kid and from Clemson. I, I, and, and the kid from Clemson. And, and now the kid from Alabama. Alabama. Jacobs, too. Listen, that kid, that was going to be something. Running backs come a dime a dozen, two nickels every time. I told you this. Right. Yeah, that's why <laughs> Melvin Gordon had to show back up to work, because they're running for more yards now than they did last year. Right. Yeah. And you and you got Brooks. Who do you want on your pod, Warren? Oh, you know I'm taking 2-8. Come on. I got Marshall. running backs to talk about right now. I just had Frank Gore going to the University of Miami, the other hurricane. Hall of Famer. I, I, we're done with it now. I mean, the guy ran for 100 yards against the New England Patriots at age, no pads at age 50. Without no pads I mean, ex, I mean, come Without on. Without no thigh pads in. <laughs> he, roll your eyes all you want, Chris. He's the got, fourth player ever to rush for 15,000 15, yards. 15,000 yards? Your eyes? He's going to be – it's going to – They already leave EJ out of this thing, and he's got almost 13,000. What, you going to leave my guy at 15,000? It's going to be Emmett. I'm going to tear the building Barry down. Barry Sanders and then I'll tear the building down. If Frank ain't going in, I'm tearing I'm not, the building I'm down. I'm not going to argue with Warren, but name your quintessential Frank Gore moment. You can tell the story of the NFL without Frank Gore. I don't know, man. You have to talk about the top five running backs of all. You know, by the way, you're not looking at Warren when you say that. Why are you looking at me? I mean, you're You've the, known Warren I, I, for years. I'm in the Hall of Fame, and I don't want to spit on nobody gold jackets, but there's a couple gold jackets that the NFL could be told without their names, too, so relax. So that it happens. In. Like, so what are you saying? Top, that are but the in, fourth that guy ever in. to rush for 15,000 That's what yards? I mean. I, I mean, I'm fine with it being in, but, you know. We mm. put the 55th all-time leading rusher in. Which one is that again? Look it up. <laughs> is that Gail Sayers? Is it, uh, shh. Okay, I don't want to say anymore. Don't, do I, don't, don't want to get I him in trouble. I agree with Warren in this case. Up. Some guys don't deserve to be in. What's it like being in that room? For the, uh, for, the, for the Nitschke Luncheon. Yeah. Again, for those who don't know, it's the Friday that kicks off the weekend where uh, all returning Hall of Famers, it's a, it's a gold jacket required, gold jacket only room. Yeah. And you get in there and you welcome in the new class by letting them know they're still they're rookies again for just one more year. And cannot say a word. Can't say a word, no. right? Cannot say a word. You got to sit there. Was Deacon still alive when no. you did in? No, what unfortunately what not. A bummer. And Willie Lanier started the meeting. Bruce Smith kind of took it over. Mm. Somebody else had something to say. And then Michael Irvin kind of brought it home. My year. Right. And every year has been a little different, a little change. I still have yet to speak in the Ray Nisky lunch. You have yet to speak. It's, yeah. You've been in there six. This yeah. is your sixth year being in there. You've yet to speak in there. Yeah. Because every year I've came back, somebody else wanted to say something. Because my class was Parcells and... Larry Allen, Chris Carter, you know what I'm saying? A, a nice class, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, Jonathan Ogden yeah. and Dave Robinson mm -hmm. and Curly Cup, who waited 27 and 30 years apiece. Mm -hmm. So I just sit back and shut up. I talk enough. <laughs> By the way, I, they just got in my ear and told me the 55th leading uh -uh. rusher of all time. Don't do that. You said it. Everyone's going to look it up. I ain't, that's, that's why they do that. Don't do that. Great friend of the show. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Can, right, be, can, be, can, can, can be told without it. Yeah. Oh, no. Why not? Because it's a, Terrell Davis won two championships. Can be told without it. Okay. They didn't say this one's for Terrell. They said this one's for John. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, Terrell might have powered him to it. I'll give him that. He powered him to it. Yeah. But, hey. Warren don't, 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 Sapp. Hey, Warren, 55th. Warren Sapp. Adrian James got 12, almost 13,000 yards. Come on. And Frank Gore got over 15, and he over here being a real snob about it. Really? Don't do that in Rich. I'll have Teddy set up in here. Don't now, do it. <laughs> last thing here. I <laughs> leave my at, hurricanes out of this, now. Now, last thing here, just coming back to the hurricane. Um, and Jim Brown is the GOAT. Can we please stop no. yelling all these other GOATs? Well, I mean, Jerry Rice, I refer to him. He's the greatest that? receiver of all time. Okay. You say that. The greatest yeah, but of the GOAT all time is Jim, Jim Brown. Brown. Yeah. 
Now, you at the U Uh-oh. played next to Dwayne Johnson, correct? No, he played behind me. He played behind yeah, you. Yeah, he was on the sideline when I was on the field. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's in the movies and I'm not on the movies. <laughs> so it was never Warren Sapp and Dwayne Johnson next to each other on the line? Never once? You never rushed the passer together? Nah. Not that I can remember. Hmm. Okay. Maybe once or twice, but no. Well, you took his job, though, right? Did you take there his job? There was never a depth chart with Dewey above me on it at the University of Miami. If you can find one, let me know. Dewey? Is that how you refer to him? Dewey? I'm sorry. Well, that's Tell what I mean. Me. He was the starter the year before, and then you came no, in, and it was— Dewey was never the starter at the University okay. of Miami. Mark Caesar was the starter. Got it. And the year before that was Anthony Hamlin and so, Eric Miller. Then why does the story get told like that? Yeah. Because he's in Hollywood, and you make— up. <laughs> Come on. He t- he t- <laughs> Come on. Hang on now. Come on. He follows the script. He's oh, good at it. Oh, oh. He's good at it. Live action, you have a little trouble, but following the script, he's damn good at that. So when's the last time you saw him? It's been a long time? <laughs> that's that, that means it's a long time. Since I left college? Come on, really? I thought that you guys you heard the were like- story. He went to the Argonauts and whatever was on his last leg, eating poking mm-hmm. beans and weenies or whatever right. it is, and told himself, "Get your damn ass up and get motivated." And Warren Sapp took your job and all this other. Shit. I don't careful, know. Careful, careful. <laughs> my bad. By the way, I, I now have ninety seven problems. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's okay. Ninety nine problems no, 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 and cursing no, but- is one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you and... and, and uh, no, no, we're fine. Right. But I'm not waking up at 4.30 in the morning and going to the Pembroke Pines gym to go lift with him. And now he has a lid jet and everything in the family and new everything. Nah, go ahead, do your thing. He's wonderful. I love watching the movies. Love he, watching He's movies. great in them. He's great in them. Like I said, I, I love know. watching the movies. Okay. I would love for him to come back to the University of Miami like when we played the uh, Florida, the kickoff. Okay. He's not there. Well, he's, he's working. He's busy. Really? Yes. He's like the hardest working guy. You know what? I, I need to introduce you to Kevin Patrick and Cry. And let them. Okay. <laughs> that was, those are the guys he used to run real with, real tight with him. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah, that was his boys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Rock or Sue, who would you prefer to have a relationship with? I have a relationship with Dwayne. Okay. Dewey. Okay. Good. But you Nothing. can have that Sue stuff, man. Come on. <laughs> Stop. Listen, I'm trying to get to London with the Bucks, and you're ruined it by chance. Oh, right no, 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 no. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> What's Warren, wrong with you, man? I, I, I don't keep... have a problem. Pick the ball up, ran, touchdown, good. Wonderful. Two and two. Love it. It's looking good, hey, man. Hey, Jameis throwing the ball. Hey. That was amazing. That was that was Listen. maybe the best game. And I know Jameis has thrown four touchdowns in the Dome to kick off a season to beat the Saints. Mm-hmm. I understand yeah. that. I thought that was one of the, the best game I've ever seen Jameis play. Yeah, he played one. He played this one past Sunday. weekend. Yes, he played he one did. Sunday. He was on. He was it. tough to stop. Oh, he was, he was on he it was... Sunday. Stepping up in the pocket, moving, shaking, yeah. putting the ball on him. Oh, he yes. did everything. He he was the Jameis we remember. Him always why he was the number one pick. Correct. That's what we're supposed to see from him. I, agree and with you. I think Byron Leftwich has really calmed him down to where you don't have to do it all, son. You mm-hmm. have some people around you, so allow them to work for you, and you never go broke making a profit. Good to see you, Warren Sapp. Always great to see you. Thanks for Hey, man, my- I got to get you one of my beers. You know, Barrel of Monks made me a 99 beer. No. It's a Belgian blonde, but we only serve it in Florida, so I- I'm going to have to ship some out here. Please too. do. I am. I, I am. I'm going to ship you a case. Make sure you get him dead drunk and let him watch some Frank Gore well- tape, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to feed him Frank Gore until he throw up, y'all. You got to be kidding me, man. My Canes got almost 30,000 yards worth of rushing in the National Football League, and you're telling me neither one of them deserve to be in the hall. That's not what I said. Yeah, you did. You implied it. Yeah, you did. Strongly. Yeah, you did. While looking at me, but not While looking at him. I'm looking at you looking at him through these cameras right here. I'm going to get you when I get up. At Warren Sapp on Twitter and Instagram. I follow him. You should as well. You got well. a million now, don't you? 99 Problems Podcast. I do have a million now, yeah. yeah and who is the one to tell you to, to name your Twitter account at Warren Sapp? Who is that person years Rich ago? Rich Eisen. Rich Eisen told me to put my face up. This is yours. Make it personal. Do not be playing around. What is that S thing up there? Yeah, it was Q- at QB, QB Killer. Killer. And I'm like, great. I know No, that's- the job made me change that one because they were doing the bounty. You know that. You forgot about that. The bounty did that one. I forgot. Yeah, that was, that so we, so we had the QB killer, the QB, and the, the guy that got killed, so you know we had to change it up. It 99 bad. Problems <laughs> Podcast. Check it out where all podcasts are gotten. Uh, yes. When we come back for the TV audience, uh, Deion Sanders had a great week picking games, and by great, I mean Awful. Oh, my gosh. Horrible. Prime, if you're sitting there Ooh. in your tub, in your bubble bath, yeah. 
we, we, it's going to be on. Well off. When we come back <laughs> on The Rich Eisen Show. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app. 